All right, I am at Kansas in the Cup Series this time. Uh, trying to lay down a decent lap. I have put up a 30.587 with this setup. Hoping to get at least a 30.6 on video here. Then I will talk about the line I am running and we'll go see the setup. Um, Kansas is a place that the fast way around here is the top side and I am not good at rim riding. It's very unnatural to me. I'm much more of a bottom feeder. Uh, but we'll see what we can do about laying down a decent lap here. I don't know if I was completely up to speed there. I'm usually, when I hit a good lap, I'm doing about 189 or 190 at the line. I was only doing 187 there, so this may not be a good lap. I may have to, um, may have to run a second one here. That didn't help either. And there was a 30.661. I will take that, especially bouncing off the wall. Um, unfortunately with Kansas, it just doesn't seem like there is a lot of markers here to look at. And uh, I think uh, it's I think it's just tough, especially when you're trying to rim ride. I am trying to look at this green American ethanol marker here and probably a little bit before at around about here I would say is where I am trying to get out of the gas. Now I say the top side uh, as long as you are up here to where you're at least straddling these white lines where you got one set of tires below it and one above it you're getting benefit from the momentum of the top side and you're saving your tires a little bit too so as long as you can straddle these white lines you are up here high enough now one of the big tricks at Kansas is using the banking and using that big apron that they have down there to get a run, uh, a downhill run, so to speak. So as you're coming off the corner, about the time you hit this green traffic light that I just drove by, that's the marker that I use to say I want to come down off the wall at this point and start going down onto the apron. So one of the big tricks at Kansas is you use that elevation change in that wide apron to, to go downhill and create more momentum coming off of turn four. Um, going into turn one, I always look at this uh, traffic light here and a little ways past it, probably about in here, is where I am lifting. And when I say lifting, if you hit it right and you have fresh tires, you're not completely out of the gas. You're probably three quarters out of the gas and it's almost like a pick your foot up, put your foot down kind of thing. You're not out very long at all. Um, so that is what I've got at Kansas, and I will tell you, uh, this whole concept of just riding around the top really takes some getting used to for me. Very unnatural to me. Uh, there might be people who have a lot better line to suggest to you. And for that matter, there might be better setups out there because I am not used to building a setup to go around the top. But I think this is a pretty respectable setup that will turn to 30.5. So let's actually go see what that setup is. So this is uncharacteristic of me because it's got a high front weight and a high wedge and I usually don't do that. But I tried running the lower stuff and I was just, it's just like I can get a tenth more speed out of it it seems like if I am running uh, the, the higher wedge and higher front weight here at Kansas. And some tracks it doesn't seem to work for me. Some tracks it, it seems like if I go to this higher setting I get a little more speed out of it. Um, Kansas is one of them. Uh, what else? The springs front and back are pretty typical of what you see in a lot of setups and pretty typical of a mile and a half track. Um, the tire pressures, I think I made some adjustments to loosen the car up a little bit, but they're pretty close to default. The camber is pretty aggressive on the left side just because you don't wear those tires very much and that helps the car turn. The sway bar, uh, I came down quite a bit from what the default setting was and really what you have to do when you run a high front weight and a high wedge those are both things that the higher numbers make the car tighter so you have to do some things to offset um, the impact that's having to making it tighter so one of the things you do is you run a lower sway bar a smaller sway bar I should say 
because a smaller sway bar makes it easier for the car to turn and then you also run higher on your track bars when you have a high front weight so normally my track bars are like nine and a half and ten and a half or something um, but when I'm running the heavy front weight I've got to run a higher track bar so that's why you're seeing ten and a half and twelve and finally the rear end ratio I settled on a 310 um, I feel like you're handicapped a little bit by having fourth gears 1.00 I feel like if you could um, move that around a little bit you might get some optimal gearing by maybe going to a, a 0.95 and a 325 gear or a 105 gear and a 3.00 rear end but I don't really do a lot of three gear setups because it hurts you so bad on restarts um, but um, by all means there might be some more speed to be gained I really didn't think I was cranking the RPMs that I should be to be running a 310 but I was always a little bit faster at the line and, and reaching a higher top end at the end of the straightaway with it so I had to stick with it but I think if you can come up with a gearing scenario where you are hitting that red line right at the end of the front straightaway that's usually the ideal uh, gear that you want to use but anyway enough about that I will wrap this up um, if you got any questions please leave it in the comments other tracks you would want to see leave that in a comment and i'll try to throw up a video for you on that as well and finally do me a huge favor and like uh, the video and subscribe to the channel it means a great deal to me when i can see somebody has liked the video or i see the subscriber count growing um, i really enjoy knowing that people are liking the content i am putting out there so thank you guys for the support and hope this uh, helps you turn many fast laps oh one more thing i will say the tire wear on this is okay but this is kansas i don't know that there is a setup out there that doesn't wear the tires out um, but I think the tire wear is pretty good so uh, throwing that last piece in there and with that I will sign off and tell you guys to have a great day thanks for